this giant sheet of plastic that workers are putting down is part of the process of building a new disposal area called a cell at the Haynes Mill Road landfill. When they're finished, it will be one big sheet of plastic, big enough to line the entire 16 acres of the cell. Jan McCarg, who oversees the landfill for city county utilities, says the liner is just one of the many environmental protections that the cell incorporates. The base of the liner system is a compacted clay layer, which is 18 inches thick. On top of that is a geosynthetic clay liner, which is made of pure bentonite sandwiched between two geotextiles. That's a manufactured product. On top of that is the 60 mil high density polyethylene liner, which is installed and seamed together on the site. On top of that is a protective layer of soil and a drainage system that collects the water that comes in contact with the waste. Once the liner is installed, there's a series of piping and stone and netting that serves as a drainage layer to collect the water that comes in contact with waste. Any water that's in contact with waste is considered potentially contaminated and is, con is called leachate. This leachate is collected and pumped to storage tanks on site where it is stored and then sent to the wastewater treatment plant for treatment. If all goes according to schedule, this new cell will be ready to accept garbage by the spring of 2012. Last year we received 240,000 tons of municipal solid waste. At that rate of waste acceptance, the site should last another 20 years. When this portion of the landfill is filled to capacity, it will be capped with a layer of clay and liners to prevent rainwater from getting into the garbage. Over time, as the garbage decomposes, it will give off methane gas that will be put to good use. As waste decomposes, it produces methane gas as a byproduct of, of the decomposition. We have installed a gas collection system. It's a series of vertical wells and piping that collects the gas and conveys it to the power plant on site where it is used to generate electricity. As the landfill progresses, we will continue to install collection system components and the site should generate methane for another 30 to 40 years. Modern landfills are much more than a hole in the ground. They're no longer the stereotypical city dump that people think of. They consist of a number of environmental control systems that are designed to protect the groundwater, the surface water, and the air quality.